everything in the Greek islands sings of the sea, from wind-buff fishermen pulling in a day's catch to cubic whitewashed villages capped by domes of bright blue, from laundry flapping in a salty breeze to rows of octopus drying in the sun. Here, the deep Aegean is the source of life. For countless centuries, these restive waters have carried trading vessels and fleets of warships. They witnessed Odysseus sailing off to the Trojan War and saw Jason piloting the Argos in search of the Golden Fleece. And today, they offer the intrepid traveler an experience like no other. There are more than 1,400 islands in Greece. So when planning a visit to the Greek islands, how do you choose from this bounty? Well, that depends on just how much time you have and what your interests are. Is climbing through ancient ruins your thing? Or are you looking for the hottest nightlife? Would you prefer letting the hours slip away on some secluded beach? For this trip, we wanted islands that were easily accessible, stunningly beautiful, had lots of interesting sightseeing, and at least a few unspoiled, out-of-the-way spots. Too much to ask for, you say? Well, the Cyclades and the Central Aegean are up to the task. We'll begin on stunning Santorini, then head to Naxos, the largest of the Cyclades. We'll make a quick stop in Mykonos, and finally explore the splendid ruins of Delos. Our dramatic opener is Santorini. The plummeting cliffs forged by volcanic eruptions take your breath away. Sheer rock faces loom hundreds of feet above the Aegean. The red, gray, and black pumice layering the cliff face distinguish it from every other island in Greece. From below the island's capital of Fira, you can climb the nearly 600 steps or ride the little cable car into town. You can guess which choice I made. A cluster of rambling white buildings, Fira is the center of activity on the island. Though tourists pummel it during high season, nothing can destroy the charm of its cobbled streets and the spectacular view of the harbor. According to legend, the harbor is a bottomless abyss leading to the door between heaven and hell. The influence of tourism varies from island to island. The main towns on popular islands tend to be hugely overcrowded during the height of summer, which is July and August. But if you visit just before or after high season, you can usually escape the hordes. And by the way, English is widely spoken. I'm sorry, I can't speak English, but from December time, I'm going to speak when I'm learning some words. 